This swarm came to me last August the 5th. They swarmed onto a grapevine at the house. And uh, they actually went to the ground before I got the equipment back. If, you, if you've been a beekeeper long, you know that a swarm in August is not a good thing. There's generally something wrong with them if there's a swarm in August. They're either sick, uh, there's been pesticides, something's bothered. So I set the hive about three feet from the bees on the ground. I said, if you all get in there, I'll try to save you. If you don't, I'm sorry. Came back a few hours later, they've gone in the hive on their own. So I said, if y'all willing to do that, I'll do, I'll do my best. So I fed them up until Christmas. They were able to pull out enough frame in the hive body, enough foundation, enough comb, to be able to have a place to store food. And they were putting up the sugar water. This uh, shallow super here is one that we'd taken off in the summer, but we didn't extract it because it wasn't capped. So I got it out and put it on top of them, and that's where I left it for January. I had shoulder surgery in January, so I couldn't get back in my bees until about the first of this month, first of April. When I went back in it, of course, it was just this high body and this super, and it was full of brood. I don't like my honey super to be full of brood. So I took it off. Raised it up, put a medium on me. I run, for my bees, I run a high body and a medium super. Put this one on top and then I turned this queen excluder sideways. Brushed all the bees down, put that on. 
this was a tip that came from the better a better bee publication. It said if you're a beekeeper that don't like to use a don't like to use a queen excluder in a traditional manner, and I don't, mm -hmm. because some bees will work through them, some will not. But they said if you put it on sideways, about 80% of the queens you won't really bother going up above it. And so I've done that for a couple of years. What I'm hoping is the brood that was in here will have hatched, gone back down. She hadn't come back up, and now hopefully they're filling it up with honey. So that's kind of what we're going to look for. First thing, when you walk up to hive and you see them working like they're working today, you don't have to do a whole lot. There's probably a good indication. You see them bringing pollen in. Can you tell that on their legs? The little balls of yellow stuff they're bringing in? That's an indication that there is brood rearing going on in there. That's so, as an older beekeeper, bee. you really don't have Breeding to go in and shiny. look for a whole lot. You, got in there you walk up to a hive and you can pretty much judge mm -hmm. the health of it just by what's it, coming you. in. Mm -hmm. The Japanese bees do that, but there's a mean hornet for where. I got that Open in the car. What's going on. I like to set my closer, yeah. smoker close enough. That they're going to get a whiff for a while. Now, this popper was just put on there to let them start drawing something out and just have something to play with. I don't expect much activity up there. Anymore. This was raw, raw foundation that was put on a week or so ago, so you can tell they're already beginning to pull the foundation out, but there's not but a couple of them here, they're beginning to work on that side a little bit, but not a whole lot's gone on up here yet, which is kind of what I assumed, I put it just new foundation on there to let them, let them play with it. You want to see? Now it ought to be getting a little more activity down here. We'll give them just a little whiff. Oh, Here's what you want to see. From all indications, this is going to be a fairly good honey year. Looks good. Uh, all of my brood either hadn't hatched or she's come on back up here. Like I said, putting that putting the queen excluder sideways doesn't always work. And you can see there are worker broods in here. Looks like she also come up here to lay her drone brood. This everything on this side appears to be drone brood. There's a little bit of worker brood under those bees, but not much. Is that a queen cell down right here? Is that a queen cell right there? What is it? Is that right there? I've seen something there. We're at the bottom. The other one. I believe they chewed the side out there. It's right here. That's, that's a drug. That's a drug. Pull sideways when he pulled it up. A lot of drone on this one here, too. It turned down when he pulled it up. It looks like. Let's see. I believe most of the worker brood was over on this side. And unfortunately for me, the queen's still laying a good pattern. I believe she's still up here. <laughs> yeah, yes, she's still up here. So I didn't, yeah. I didn't accomplish anything by by sweeping them down and putting yeah. that uh, sideways that excluder on there. She, <laughs> she's found a place she wants to be, and so I'm not going to bother anymore. But uh, so what we're going to do about excluder down there? We're going to do anything. We're just going to leave it. Yeah, turn sideways. Now that is a nice queen. Mm -hmm. That is some good. That is a good brood pattern. It. And I'm as surprised as y'all are. This is the first view I've had of this super. I just put it on first of this month. Wow. Maybe that suggests that they're all like that. He'd ask for too much more matter than that. I'm not sure I've ever seen one fill it up and not leave any space on the side for any food. They're pretty confident they're going to have a place to, 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 store, to store stuff. We'll look at a couple more here, but uh, there's a monster drone right there. I think you'll hold it out again.
I wonder if uh, she filled up the bottom part and pushed down up on the top. I don't know. Wow. Sir? Yes. Can you put this over for the lady? Which one? Show her the drone. Drone's at the bottom. This is, uh, this is drone brood right here. They look like bullets. And also on the other side. This flat brood is worker brood. And a queen, old timers used to sit around at their hives and kill drones and thought they were doing a world of good because the drones were kind of worthless this time of year. Well, not this time of year, but a little later. Later on, as people began to study beehives, they found out that was worthless because the queen controls the amount of drones in a hive. And if there's a shortage, she'll just lay more infertile eggs to become drones. And she's going to keep about 10%. If you remember, I was. Somewhere around 10% of the eggs she lays will be drone eggs. I just wonder if it's well, I don't know what you find out. But all of this from an August the 5th swarm. That's pretty unbelievable to me. Good. August the 5th, huh? Yeah. Latest swarm I've ever had. That's why I'm mm -hmm. telling folks, that's why I brought this and there's a kind of story behind this side of it. Is that from some of them bays you had two years ago? No, I don't know where these bees are coming from. I know you had a good, nice bunch of bees that year. Those so bees you, died. Yeah, so you had a bunch of queen cells. I had one that lived through to a lot from this last year. Well, that hive swarmed, Charles, on me. I came down here two days later to move them back home. And oh, a swarm yeah, of bees on that little cedar tree on the other side of that big oak. Uh -huh. Took them home, and I still got that swarm, but I left the others here to let the new queen get acclimated. Yeah. And some of the members of the wildlife club said, just leave them. So I did, but they died out on me over there. Did that when you got that queen? Did it do all right? Did, yeah. did you try to feed it at all? Me? Yeah. No, when it died out, there was still 30 pounds of honey in there. Wow. As a matter of fact, I took it and gave it some other bees. They had just dwindled further. Oh, I see what you're They're not even. That's why they're not. This is, this is what they did from August till December while I was feeding them. They did get. I didn't have all full foundation down here. Yeah, so that next one is sad. There's not much going on down here. Yeah. That's why she's going up to that dog tub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could it be that the queen got stuck on top of the excluder? Oh, you did. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry? Could it be that the queen got stuck on top of the excluder? No, she can't get stuck because with it turned sideways, both ends are open. Plus, I had brushed all the bees into the bottom before I put that super back on. So I know she was in the bottom before I put that queen excluder on. I say I know, I guess as much as you can know anything about what they're doing. So what do you got, what's your big plans for this? Big plans? Yeah. I'm just tickled to death they're alive. Oh, well, there and tickle to death, they're doing that good because I was telling these folks, I think before y'all came up, beekeeper don't really want to swarm the bees in August. And they couldn't, they hit the ground, they couldn't fly, she couldn't fly anymore. I put the box about three feet from them. I said, if y'all get in them, I'll work with you. If you don't, you're gone. What kind of bottom board is this? This is a, uh, I got it at Thank You Brushy Mountain. It is the best bottom board you ever saw for moving bees. There's two little gates that go in these slots. And the gates, when you get your bees, like I went Thursday night, Friday night, I went Friday night after dark. It was cool. Bees were all inside. I slid the gates down in there. The gates have two sides. The top side is a complete bee excluder, or one side. The other side is just a queen excluder. Well, in the darkness, I got this one the complete excluder. I got this one turned upside down and it was just a, a queen excluder. So Saturday morning when I picked up the hive, a son-in-law was helping me, but I did let him go to the back. <laughs> but I got a face full of bees because I, <laughs> I had not double checked when I put the gates in. And I gates is up here in the truck, I can tell you. But, but that is a, I've got two of those bottom boards. They're the handiest thing for moving bees uh, that I've seen, <laughs> that I've got. There yeah. may be better stuff out there, but it's better than anything I've got. Now we didn't look for the queen. I'm just enough of a minimalist beekeeper. When I see the kind of brood I saw, I got no intentions of going there because you can always injure, damage a queen putting frames back. 
So I don't I don't look for them if I see the kind of brood I saw in there. You see eggs. I didn't see any fresh eggs because they're playing completely packed with broods. Thank you. They seem to be flying so good, and obviously have found something down here. I may not carry these back home for oh, about two months. <laughs> I have one uh, inside cover that the, two of them that don't have the vented slot like that. Uh -huh. Mostly have the vented slot vented in the middle, but not the edge. On the front, I keep mine on the front right there. You just cut it out. The vents? No, I mean they. My guess is that they come either way, correct? Either yeah. So when do you choose to have one that has the slot for an entrance or not? Here's your ventilation right here. I don't ha I don't have any with a slot cut in them because if you got that you got it year round. And if you hive gets just a little bit of weak in August and September, then you'll have robbing possibilities. Well, what you supposed to do? Is I've, got old kind of, shut it up. I've got old kind of timey drink bottle caps. The ones you buy today are way too shallow. But I'll put a drink cap here and a drink cap here in September. The ventilation is far more important to them in the wintertime than it is in the summertime. Because in the wintertime it helps keep condensation from forming so bad and raining down on them. In the summertime, they're cooling the hive. They're, they're bringing, drawing air through there. And it's got screen, screen bottom board as well. So the ventilation is not particularly got a little shade here. Ventilation is not as important to them in the summertime as it is in the winter. But if you put that cover on, then you put the outside cover on, where's the air going out? Well, if you look at this hive... <laughs> no, I understand, but that's because you have a queen excluder, right? But if they propolize it, it would otherwise be shut up all the way. put a couple of sticks in there. The air can yeah, hold it yeah. out. Oh, okay. so you can do that. You can do all kind of things. And then it'll hold it, hold it up. I cut, I cut, when I run out of bottle caps, I'm going to cut little dowel rods. One inch diet wrap, and I'll make spacers to go in here, do all kind of things. The only reason this the only reason this doesn't have a vent in it now, I took the bottle caps out from under uh, Friday night, so I could, so I'd not have bees flying everywhere on the way down here, and I didn't stick them back in there in the truck door. But yes, I would normally have vents in here, but if you forget, it's not a big deal in the summertime. It's a much bigger deal in the winter and fall. Anybody got any other questions? He can probably answer them better than I can. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do yes that sir. Do they like coffee? Do they like coffee? <laughs> I wouldn't expect that they did, but it wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if they did. Some of these Did you explain why you put your excluder on sideways? I explained to them that I had read that in Better Bee catalog that if you're a beekeeper that didn't like to put excluders on, and I don't. Yeah. That sometimes this would work and I've had pretty good luck with it in the last two years. This queen is obviously above it. She's not one of the ones that stayed down, but it was because there was brood in here to start with. This, you hear, you hear me telling this was an August 5th swarm? Yeah, I did. Well, the only thing I had was this shallow super of uncapped honey and I put it on them last winter and I just took it off first of this month and it was full of brood. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I shook them all, I swept them all down, put that in, but it didn't keep her down. And I didn't really expect it to, I just tried. Yeah. And that's what you'll do as a big keeper, you'll try different right. things. If you got more than one hive, you're gonna try different things on your on the two hives and see what works best. Can you tell them how heavy the hive kind of gets? Does it get full of honey and different things? These all my honey supers are these shallow supers. Okay. I got tired a long time ago of lifting medium, medium supers full of honey. And that one will if one's packed full, that shallow soup will weigh about 40 pounds, and it'll 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 yield you about uh, it'll be about 30 pounds of honey if it's plum full. Between 30 and 35 pounds of honey. I had a gentleman call me. I was hoping to see him here today, but he wasn't here. I think he's a club member. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but he called me uh, Friday and said he had he'd been kind of sick and I don't know if I could help him uh, take his hive apart because he hadn't been into it in over a year. I said, yeah. He said, I've got some honey in it and I can't lift it. And I thought, gosh, you must have thought to myself, you must have been really sick and you couldn't lift a shallow super honey. Well, it was a hive body full of honey. 
Oh, and I lifted that thing off Friday afternoon, and it must have weighed 95 pounds. I have, I had to walk far as near to those folks up there in the chairs and step up into a wooden building, and I'd have about all I wanted the time I got there. Jack, I didn't hear the beginning of what you're saying, but if you, send, if you have a new package, do you wait until they start drawing out the outer um, combs, outer you know, frames before you put on a, a new super? No, you don't have to wait till they get to the outer because there's a lot. I've got a lot of bees that won't even pull out the outer frame. Been there for five years. But you want all the books tell you between 60 and 70 percent of the frames filled up. So six or seven, you want the bees at least working on them and beginning to draw foundation before you put another one. Otherwise, they'll just chimney up through the center. And it's you have eight frame or ten frame? Eight. So you want at least five pulled out before you add another super. Number. Anybody else? <laughs> Well, thank you all. You're great out I'll be here all week. Try to buffet. Thank you for letting us see you all. Oh, you're welcome.